Peace everyone, Unmaskart here, and today I will be showing you how to create this galactic scene. The tools that I'll be using are a little bit different than my previous tutorials. In this tutorial, I'll be using Pantone Tria markers. However, you could probably use any form of alcohol-based markers. The paper that I'm working on is still the Stonehenge Volume paper. However, I don't recommend using this paper. I recommend using a Strathmore Bristol Smooth or even better, the Strathmore Bristol Plate Surface. Those are two of my favorite papers to use ink and markers on. So anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I'm doing is I'm using a light cream color marker to just to just mark off some of the locations where I'm going to put some clouds. The next thing that I'm doing is I'm taking my mid-range purple color to just block in some of the highlights of where the clouds are going to be and I'm just using small jagged strokes to get the fluffy texture of the clouds. The next thing I do is I just switch my pencil around and use the broad tip to just smear on some color. You'll notice that uh, none of my marker strokes are really all that precise. I'm really just scribbling at this point. Here you see that I'm using a darker shade blue and just putting it on the left side of the paper. Here I'm using kind of a bright peach color to just throw in some tones that will show up later in the clouds. And I'm switching now to a darker purple color and I'm just kind of coloring in the rest of the white spots on the sides and below. And this is just gonna create the purple tone that you'll, that you'll often see in space scenes. Now I'm just switching back to my same blue color and I'm just using this to kind of blend some of the, the colors together and get rid of the, all the last little bit of white specks that you see. Now I'm switching back to a mid-range purple color and I'm just blending out some of the purple and some of the peach color and uh, trying to make all the colors blend a little bit nicer together. Now I'm taking my black marker on the broad tip and I'm just scrubbing in some of the darker parts of the sky. I'm going to be using markers right over top of this, which is going to retint it to the purple and blue, but this is going to give the value that I need to make the sky look really dark. You can see that I'm avoiding the light blue parts and I'm also avoiding the top part of what's going to later look like clouds. And now I'm switching back to my mid-range purple color and just uh, trying to blend out some of those harsher lines that I got with the black marker. And this is also going to tone the black. It's going to give it a kind of purple hue. Now I'm switching back to my blue marker and I'm just going to scrub over the black to kind of make it a little bit more consistent in color and also blend it out a little bit. You can see here I'm uh, trying to blend out some of that blue spot, that lighter blue spot here at the bottom and at the top, and it starts to look a little bit better. Now I'm taking my darker blue and trying to blend out some of the black and just give it an overall tone. Now I switch to my lighter purple color and I just kind of cover everything, all the parts of the clouds and stuff, just to blend everything together. And then I go back to my peach color and I just scrub a little bit to add a little bit more color into it. At this point is when I switch to using colored pencils and I'm using colors very similar to the markers. This is just gonna be a dark blue purple tone. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this to really start to uh, blend the color of the black marker into the clouds and it's going to make it much softer and a much better blend and i'm just going to sharpen up some of my lines as well to make the clouds stand out a bit more and you don't need to press really hard at this point with all the markers the paper is very smooth the colored pencil goes on really nicely and you really don't have to blend out the colored pencils at all. They go on quite smooth with very little pencil grain. You can see I'm just using the same dark purple color to kind of 
continue to shape my clouds a little bit more, add a few details to them and just make them look overall softer. Now I'm using a light blue color behind the cloud just to give it a little bit of light. And this is just gonna kind of create more of the cloud effect. Just using it to, to blend all the colors together. And you can see here, I go into the black and it, it softens it up and it lightens it so that I can kind of create cloud texture right over top of the darker parts of the marker. And I do this in a couple locations. And I'm just using small circular pencil strokes to create this effect. The next thing that I'm doing is I'm using a, a darker blue color to kind of blend out where the black marker meets the dark blue marker and just make it a little bit softer and make it look more well blended. This is also going to add a little bit more blue to the sky overall, covering those black parts. Now since I've added so much blue and purple over top of my black, it kind of lightened it up more than I wanted, so I'm going through with a black colored pencil and I'm just darkening the darkest spots of the sky. This gives the sky a much deeper uh, presence. Now I'm going in with a light uh, white color and I'm just adding a few, a few light streaks in these blue and then I use the same color to create the top part of the cloud and this is really going to bring the clouds up off the page and I'm just kind of following the lines that my markers naturally made. I didn't draw these clouds to be exact to any picture, I just kind of scribbled it and then let the clouds kind of come off the page to, by themselves. And this uh, using the white to highlight the tops really makes them stand off the page. And I even add a little extra details, a little, uh, a few darker clouds in front just to add a few layers and depth. Now the next thing I do is I take my circle stencil and I find the circle size that I want. I take my white pencil and what I do is I use the outside edge and I create kind of a half crescent and I press, I press pretty hard to get the white to stand off. That's going to give me a nice silhouette of a planet and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some of my lighter purples and greens even. I'm going to introduce a, a few new colors here. Um, to just create kind of a planet and I'm using a dark blue to kind of fade the sides of the white into the cloud that's in front of it and uh, I, I use blues and purples to kind of fade it into the black and here I use a little bit of green as well just to give the planet a little bit of life and I use a little bit of black as well just for the darker spots. The next tool that I'm using is a white gel pen. So the first thing I do is I add just a, a few of the large stars. So these will be my largest stars. I just draw small circles and then I start putting some of the regular size stars and I decide to add a little bit of details to the planet giving it a few lights. Maybe there's a city or something. Just a few small details to catch the eye. The next thing I do is for the larger stars is I just put an X through them and it just gives you that, that shine look. And then now I just tap the paper with the tip of the pen to get the really, really fine stars. And wherever it's kind of lighter around these blue spots, I always like to put a lot of stars to kind of give it the galaxy effect. And I just kind of put these stars randomly all over the page. Um, and wherever I feel like there needs to be more stars, I add more stars. And wherever I feel like there should be less, I avoid that area. And that's really all that I do. Um, you can do this until your arm gets tired or you're satisfied with the way that it looks. Either way, then the, what I do is I take a little bit of the ink and highlights just a few spots on the clouds just to get them to stand up off the page a little bit more. Add a few last stars few final touches, make a few of the stars different sizes just to give you that effect. 
And there you have it. There is the final space scene. Um, overall, it's quite easy to do. I think anybody that follows this would be able to create a scene of their own. So I hope that you found this tutorial helpful and you enjoyed it. Also, if you would like to help support my work, head over to my Patreon page. If you did, let me know in the comments and be sure to give it a thumbs up. Anyways, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care. Peace.